Hello, this LP3 training video is for Ledger Card. To access Ledger Cards, choose Reports, and then Ledger Card. Ledger Cards can be created uh, through the following ways. You have a drop down to select alphabetically uh, A through G, last name, how many people A through G. There's 330 in this demo uh, software instance. Uh, H through O, last name, P through Z. So alphabetically, A through Z is split up into three categories. A through G, 330 people. Uh, H through O, 229. P through Z, 237. A little over 1,000 active accounts in this office right now. You can print out the PO, which is paid out. Anybody who's paid off their loan, so 1,556 in this uh, particular demo instance of the software or P&L, these would be charge-offs, people who charged off and didn't pay their loan over time, which uh, in this particular demo, uh, 3,842. So if you wanna print out a ledger card, um, say for instance, alphabetically A through G, there's 330. Well, for demo purposes to explain ledger card, I'm not gonna generate that many. It, it might take a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, generate, say maybe three. So alphabetically A through G, and these categories are set up under config, miscellaneous info, file groups. You have your customer's last name, A through G, H through O, P through Z. You can, you can have um, three categories, four categories, two categories, all uh, A through Z. But when a company gets really large and has, say, 1,000 active accounts, 800 active accounts, you might want to split them up for various reasons. Anyways, let's go ahead and print out three ledger cards and I'll explain what a ledger card is after they're uh, generated for print. So go ahead and click on print and it will generate the PDF. Ledger cards are, um, before companies used software uh, to manage their loans, they used a uh, four by six ledger card file system. Uh, ledger cards were created and then filed in a filing cabinet and people would come in and make payments and things of that nature and the ledger card would keep track of all the data for a customer, all their information and their loan. So that's four by six. These look like they're all in one page but when if you go to print this they actually each ledger card is its own page. So right now we have three ledger cards, so therefore be three, four by six uh, pages. These could be printed or you could just go ahead and generate a PDF of all of your customer base and then just uh, print them or just uh, take the PDF and save it. Uh, but this would be, uh, you could have the ledger cards printed out and say all your power was out, you couldn't bring up the software. Uh, this could be a backup of all your customers and their loan information. Let's uh, take a look at uh, the ledger card and what information it contains. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it, make sure that it's nice and big to go over. Have the account number, so the loan account number, the date the loan was made, the uh, limit of the loan, the max amount, uh, which is $1,400. The uh, late charge, if they ha ever have any late charges, $10. Their name, uh, if they have a spouse, spouse name, their home address, uh, city, state, zip, date of birth, social security number, home phone, mobile phone, their employer, their job title, the address of employment, uh, work phone, when they're paid, this particular person is paid monthly on the 6th, and the salary, uh, how much they make uh, for that uh, uh, total. Uh, and, and cash advance. So this is the loan that was given to the, this particular customer. They were lent $1,400 over a term of 12 months, and it was the second time that the customer had been given a loan. The total uh, charges on this loan, so $1,400 uh, was given to the customer. Uh, total charges that will be paid back plus the $1,400 is $772. That would be $672 of interest and additional charges plus an acquisition fee of $100 to, that makes the $772. So the $1,400 plus $772 of charges, if the customer pays their loan uh, on time over a 12-month period, the total will be 
$2,172 paid back. This $672 of the $772 is uh, cures over time. So this is interest curing month over month over month. If the customer comes in and pays off early, you, may, you won't be getting this entire amount back. This is if the customer comes in and pays off month by month by month the scheduled amount of $181 here. Have an email address and matures. So the loan matures. The, lo the last payment on the loan should be 8 for uh, 2021 so over 12 months. The, these ledger cards have each month and what the monthly payment is. Allows you to enter in manually uh, the date they paid, amount, whether or not they were late, balance, and any other remarks. Uh, this is how companies used to give loans and keep track of loans manually before software was developed uh, to keep track of the loans. So ledger cards are a great way to say uh, do a backup so you can uh, go ahead and click print generate a PDF of all of your accounts maybe weekly monthly and just file that away and if uh, and use this as a manual representation of the customer base and the loans that were uh, lent out to the customers so uh, this is ledger cards uh, they uh, are pretty informative manually and um, some customers still like to keep paper files of their loans. This is a good way to do that. Thank you very much.